Hey y'all, I wanted to make this video to show some of the behind the scenes of the way we work to make our art exhibitions next level when it comes to installations. It's dusty. Uh, this one all started with a Craigslist post for a free, creepy looking shed in someone's backyard in Calabasas, sent to me by my friend Ray. I gotta admit, I thought it would be easier to disassemble the shed and get it to the nice. gallery. Nice, look at and that. And I'm proud of my guys, Jay and Carlo, for accomplishing this really difficult job. Uh, we had to deal with a kind of awkward old man who watched our every move and the shed was super fucking old and heavy and dirty and full of spiders. So that's it. Easy but, peasy, uh, huh? Easy. Yeah, we got it done. Would do again. <laughs> Once we got the shed back to downtown LA, it was time to turn the raw materials over to the artist, Albert Reyes. Albert specializes in making haunted house installations. We've worked with him for years <laughs> on similar new. projects, so I knew he was going to do great work with it. Uh, we pretty much built nice. the skeleton of the shed, and then we had Albert come and add props, paint, reassemble the shack in his style. Uh, he completely transformed the shack into a living sculpture and brought a whole next level element to our Halloween exhibition at Super Cheap Gallery LA. We had a lot of fun with it. Albert always has a lot of fun with everything he does. It's part of his artistic practice, which I respect a lot. I remember like the Sick Kid show there. And uh, you know, some of you guys might wonder about the stories behind these installations when you come and see the finished product. You might wonder why there's a 14-foot shed in the gallery. And uh, I hope this sheds some light on the process. Every mission is different. It's part of what keeps running an art gallery super fun. And uh, yeah, it's really just limited by your imagination. So it's the story behind this particular one. <laughs>